For some people, society is filled with fences which prevent them from living the lives they wish to lead. Those fences may relate to their gender, their age, a disability, or their race. The image behind me represents the classic approach to those fences, an equality of treatment, where everyone is treated the same, regardless of circumstances or need, where everyone is treated the same, even where this leads to unequal outcomes. But that's not our understanding of equality today. Today, we expect something more. We expect that barriers will be removed, that fences will be lowered, and that ramps exist. But does anti-discrimination law currently achieve this equality of opportunity? That, in essence, is the subject of my thesis. In my thesis, I have analysed and compared over 600 anti-discrimination law cases from Australia, Canada and the United Kingdom. And I did so to determine whether and how courts are interpreting anti-discrimination law to achieve an equality of opportunity. And what I discovered is the answer depends on where you are. So whilst these countries look outwardly similar, their approach to matters of equality and discrimination are different. And it's different not because the rules are different, because the rules are the same, but because of the way in which the courts have applied and interpreted those rules. So what's the difference? In essence, what happens to the fence in each of these countries? Well, in Canada, the existence of the fence is challenged. The fence builder must justify that fence or it will be removed. In the United Kingdom, we might give someone an additional box to stand on or cut a hole in the fence for them to see through. The fence remains, but the person is individually accommodated. And in Australia, that fence is staying put. There will be no additional boxes. There will be no cutouts. Equality of treatment is all that we are offered here. But through this research, I have developed a framework to determine how and why courts interpret discrimination law to achieve an equality of opportunity or outcome. And through this research, I can develop new avenues of law reform and provide advocates for with tools to assist people with disabilities, women, and those of ethnic minorities so that we can ultimately remove the fence. Thank you.